What's the point of coming here if you're not going to help us win the championship? What's going on, YouTube? It's your main man, Boys for Life, coming at you with another video. So, a couple weeks ago, I want to say it was around uh, Thanksgiving time. Demarcus Lawrence put out a tweet responding to OBJ's they did that or, or whatever it was, right? And and, and um, Demarcus Lawrence retweeted basically saying, well, you know the correct choice. Basically, it's telling them you know where to go because at that point it was Dallas, it was uh, the Pack, not the Packers, um, Kansas City at the time had a play in it or they were talking about Niners were talking about it. Um, well, the fans anyway. Um the Giants, and then Buffalo. All, you know, where, where's the best fit for OBJ and this, that, and the third, whatever. And then you fast forward to Monday, right? Monday, he comes to Dallas. You saw the whole the whole shebang with, with uh, the Mavericks game, the fans chanting, we want, we want, you know, OBJ, OBJ, OBJ. Um... And then Tuesday, it's the meeting, it's the physical, it's all that. Come to find out, it's all for show. More or less. What it happened is, is that apparently, Michael Parsons is told by OBJ that he'll be ready to go in five weeks. Now, what does that pertain, five weeks? Are you ready to practice in five weeks? Are you gonna, you know, you're gonna be able to suit up and play in five weeks? Well, what what are you gonna be able to do in five weeks? Because if he's ready to play in five weeks, by all means, you know what? You want to prorate him, do whatever you got to do to get him ready for the playoffs, then get him ready for the playoffs, right? Because what's the point of bringing OBJ here if he's not gonna, you know, help us win a championship? I mean, that's the whole premise of him coming here, right? And giving up that kind of money. Because let's remember, guys, we still have digs that we need to put on contract. We still need Parsons in a couple years. I mean, CeeDee Lamb, Lane Van Der Esch, you want to keep him, Tony Pollard? I mean, we have a lot of unrestricted free agents coming this year and to tie up that capita in OBJ when he's not able to be able to help us this year is just ridiculous, right? It's just ridiculous. And Demarcus Lawrence hit the nail on the head, you know, if you aren't gonna come here and help us win a championship, then I don't want it. And it's essentially what he said. I don't want OBJ if you ain't gonna be here to come help us win a championship. Demarcus Lawrence likes what his team has. He likes the homegrown guys. Hell, I'm loving the homegrown guys. It's looking like Jerry, Will McClain, all these guys. I mean, I'm I'm not gonna sit here and say I, I, I know, I knew that they knew what they were doing. Because, hell, there were some moves that were questionable even for me. But I'm a Cowboy fan and I stand by what this team does. And, hey, it looks like we're putting out a good product thus far. Thus far, I'm not saying anything past what we've played already. You know what I mean? And, and Demarcus Lawrence is right. And everyone should be at this point because there is so much dog and pony show. Right, and I'm gonna use that term in another video I'm gonna do about Jerry Jones and OBJ. But with this video being about Demarcus Lawrence, the whole shebang, the whole shabeel leading up to OBJ coming here, you know, if we want, and here's the thing, here's the thing, and I said this a couple times. I know when the Cowboys are just putting on a show because they talk a little bit too much. But there was so much talk about OBJ, so, so much talk, that it had me actually believing and actually thinking like, you know what, this is going down. There's just no way, like there are sources out there saying that OBJ is leading to Dallas. Even though there are sources say OBJ was also leading to Buffalo, you just would think with all the sh all the mishaps that were happening with Buffalo, with be, you know, Von Miller going down and he's basically out for the year. Um, the 66 inches of snow, you got a bad knee. I mean, I got bad, a whole bad left arm. And with the change of weather, 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 my arm is completely gone. Like it's, it's jacked. And you would think with a bum knee, you would want the heat. You would want to play in 
a dome-like type of atmosphere, even though it is on turf that blew your knee out, still, you would want to be in a spot where it's warmer most of the time. And hell, he has family here. But everyone, like I said, should be at this point now. Because if the Cowboys were going to sign OBJ, they could have done it a long time ago. And Jerry Jones is right. And I'm cutting into a material from another video into this one. Jerry Jones is right. There should be major concerns. Major, major concerns. Because how can you sign a guy to a multi-million dollar deal, multi-year, multi-million dollar deal, whatever, however you want to coin it if you can't see this guy at least run a few routes break on that knee so that way they know and look the position position for the Dallas Cowboys he's not in the wrong here and I'm not saying there was any leaks by him or anyone because there more there there wasn't but what I'm saying is is that him going to Jerry and basically saying this is what his concerns are. His concerns are this knee still ain't right. It can, ex you know, basically explode at any time. Essentially, this is essentially what I'm gathering. You know, you kind of got to get context clues right when you read between the lines. There's no way that this guy is going to be ready to go anytime soon. And the whole premise of OBJ coming here was he was going to be ready to play for Dallas here in a couple weeks. No way did anyone think that we would sign him this week and he'd be ready to go by Sunday. Hell, he would need to learn the playbook, all, all that stuff. There's no way that anyone thought that we'd sign him and he'd be ready to go by next week or even the following week, right? Because we're in, what, week 14 or third or whatever it is. I was thinking if we were to sign him, he, he'd be ready to go by week 17, week 18. Get him into the fray, into game shape. Because remember, he hasn't played since the Super Bowl. And he, I don't care how great of a superstar you are, there's going to be rust in you. And to get him acclimated to game speed and everything, you know, it took Michael Gallup four or five games to where you started to see him being his old self. You know? So, Demarcus Lawrence isn't wrong. If he ain't coming here to help us win a championship, I don't want it. So, everyone I think needs to be at that point when it comes to the OBJ situation. It seems like it was brought in and it was a circus because that's what basically what it was. It was another circus. It had the Cowboys in the media. It had the Cowboys being talked about. So, take it with a grain of salt of what's going down with the OBJ situation. You know, if he comes, great. If he doesn't, he doesn't. Um, I'm comfortable with this team. I like this team, especially with the way the NFC is shaping up to be. But anyways, guys, that's all I got. I'm out. Peace.